guys, Ash here coming at you today in Raid Shadow Legends. This might be my shortest video of all time because I'm not going to make you guys sit and wait for a one hour clan boss Hydra run. Yes? I've never had a hero before, but you are my hero. But I've been doing testing all day, specifically on Artak, right? And I found one build that he is consistently getting double the freaking damage. Not just him. But my whole team, and it's all because of, of, of Hex. But I want to get your thoughts on something quick. I'm not happy with me. What do you expect? <laughs> I, I, want, I really want to know. I was just having this chat with my clan right now. First of all, we're in a clan versus clan, right? This is apropos of nothing. Feel free to fast forward one minute if you don't care. This is my clan. I love my clan. Right. And maybe it's too soon to say, but I feel like y'all are my squad. And we always have a good attitude, right? We're level 17. I don't even know what our record is. Oh, 34. So whatever. Like, but we don't get like, I don't think there's ever been a clan argument in my clan, you know, knock on wood. Uh, we're not like jerks to people or whatever. But all that being said, we like to compete, obviously, with seven freaking million clan versus clan points. But we can't stand oh, with these clans, these 12 millies, right? We get smoked by them, right? I never feel bad about it personally, especially in the personal rewards. Um, you know, I always, you know, I'm a dirty pay to win, right? Me and DeGreer, USMC, we're always good to put up, you know, uh, uh, rep sack, right? We're always good to put up like around 500K or so. But in order to compete with, with, uh, with, with clans like this, everybody needs to put up 300,000, like minimum, minimum, right? So we're just having kind of a chat in the, uh, in the clan chat. Aglins, our fearless leader, was like, what's the thoughts on how are we competing during these personal CBCs? I think if we want to compete in them, we need to put up 300 or 400 uh minimum but i want to see what his thoughts are and how important getting personal rewards are it's like personally i i don't really care that much you mean so i'd be okay with it i think he, so david would be okay with the restriction or the mandatory i said i'm cool either way low stress is best for people who have a lot going on but can also push extra hard if we choose to i don't know how clan versus clan's weird right because if you're a winner you're a loser do you know what i'm saying and I'm taking a shot at myself here too, right? Because it's like, hey, we spent the most money. Yay, we win. <laughs> we spent $1,000 to get $20 worth of rewards. Yay. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but I, I don't know. I I'm conflicted on the whole thing. Anyway, guys, Artak. Listen, guys, I farmed ice. I wanted to make this video like a month ago. Ugh, I had no, no good curse gear. Because who wanted the old cursed gear? Nobody. You're in dire need of an upgrade. So I finally farmed halfway decent pieces. And when I say halfway, emphasis on the half, okay? I tried regen. I tried relentless. I tried uh, savage, right? I tried everything. every All of the popular builds on Artak. And consistently... I, all day, I've been running it for an hour at a time. This one stupid Hydra clan boss team. Again and again and again, nothing can come close to cursed overall damage. Why? Because Hex debuff has been a par rate for a long time, but only the Minotaur could use his debuff. Now, with a raft of new champions. You're forgetting something. Shot to hellhades.com. Hex is available, blah, 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 blah. Who wrote that? I did. For single target attacks, hex targets receive 10% of the HP removed, uh, therefore does not work with shield and, okay. For, uh, for area effect attacks, hex receive 2% of the HP removed. So, what does that mean? I mean, you guys already know this. I I'm just stating it for the new players out there. Now, if you have hex, you're soaking up the damage of the other, uh, attacks, right? Of your allies. So good for Hydra specifically. Um, and obviously putting him in a curse set, which used to have heal reduction. Now it has hex any, it doesn't have to be our attack by the way, right? Anybody who's got a significant amount of AOEs. I see a lot of people building Krisk, the ageless. In hex sets as well. Uh, anybody who has a lot of AoE, slap them in the hex. Our attack is the best. Because my dude's already AoEing everywhere. He can't stop, won't stop. Can't stop, won't stop, never. He's got the burns everywhere. He's got the activations. He's a damage machine. He's got decreased attack. He's got everything, this dude, right? He's got everything. So I slapped on my crappy hex gear in the impact that a flat stat no less right i got flat stat on i got hp percentage right no ascension no glyphs nothing um and the impact it had was incredible guys you gotta try it if you haven't yet you gotta try our attack in a curse set it's so much more damage for your team once you go to curse 
you'll never go back. That's the saying. So we have on the banner uh, HP because I had to make up for the flat stat on the chest, right? Do I even have any? Uh, do I have any ascension? I'm always oil broke. And I'm oil except for the stupid. I've, I've mentioned this before, guys. But, like, I can't get rid of my superiors. <laughs> it's these two that I need more of all the time. Anyway, I digress. We have HP. Uh, accuracy probably be the way to go. But I have HP on the banner to make up for the flat stat on the chest. Uh, I have HP on the amulet. I have HP on the ring. But now that I'm just seeing this, like, I love the HP with the uh, with the accuracy trip roll. With the max glyph. I, I love it and I need the accuracy. But in this build, I would prefer crit damage. Another thing that I tested on Artax, I've seen people talk on Reddit about this specific topic. And that is, is it necessary to build a burn and a burn activator in with a lot of crit rate and crit damage? You know, can you just build them for high survivability? Does it make that big of an impact? Yes, it does. Okay. Uh, I tested him without crit rate and crit damage and he's not as you would expect he's not doing much damage and he's still staying alive just fine either way so why wouldn't you that being said i still don't have a min max any far from it i don't even have 100 crit rate on him um hp on the ring okay i have speed on the boots i have some perception boots with some crit rate substats, crit damage on the gauntlets, and again, as I mentioned, I have the cursed HP flat stat. I have a nice speed roll there on the cursed shield. The, the shield is actually really solid. Accuracy, speed, some crit damage as well. This is the only helmet that I farmed in the entirety of my 200 runs of Ice Golem. Uh, and this bad boy uh, as well. So this is the best stuff that I got. If you're curious, this is the rest of the stuff. And when I said 200 runs, it was way more than that. That was just my most recent farm. But like, like I said, I've been trying for this curse gear. This is the problem when you never farm a set and then they give it a total rework. I forgot even where it is on my thing. That's how little I look at curse gear traditionally, right? Oh my God, where the heck? It's way up here, huh? This is all I have for Cursed Gear on my entire account, including everything equipped. Man, I should have held on to some better Cursed, <laughs> cursed Artifacts, guys. <laughs> anyway, I digress. I have no Awakening, no Blessings on this dude, right? Uh, you're familiar with this kit. AoE, Extension of Burns on the A1. AoE, Instant Activation of Burns on the A2 with a Decrease Attack. And then he's placing the Burns on a double hitter on his A3 on a three-turn cooldown. He's also increasing this champion's damage, crit damage, and defense by 1% for each 1% of the destroyed max HP. Also increases the champion's speed and resistance by 2 for each 1% percent of the destroyed max hp as well so this is another reason we don't want to let this burning blood passive go to waste we want to build him with some damage as well uh i built him with uh war master on the on the uh the masteries i one thing i haven't tried out though is artek and helm smasher uh maybe a little bit unorthodox but i wonder how the damage would compare for hydra what about you guys i would love to hear from you guys what you think in the comments below uh suffice it to say the build that we're going to be having having today is with the HP on the on the banner instead of crit damage, which it should be, uh, just for the accuracy and uh, with War Master. So those are the uh, the masteries, guys. I can't I can't you know I could sit here all day and just blab about Artek and how much I love him. Oh, you can buy me a dinner. I don't want it. You know, coincidentally, really quickly, I'm working on. I'm now two left on Cursed City. Two dungeons left, and one of them is gonna be my boy Artak. He's gonna be the shining uh, the shining light here. This is a tough stage, but I know I can beat it. The other stage, I don't know. I don't know. I might have to build like two or three more Ag Bronze locks before I can beat stage uh, S19. Anyway, uh, but I'm gonna run, I, the reason I show you that is because I run Artak in Cursed City. I still use him in the, in the, in the hex, right? Uh, I use him in uh, Spider. And again, it doesn't matter, right? Like Spider 10. What I'm trying to say here, the point I'm terribly not making, is that you can still run him uh, with the Hex, with the Curse Gear, and it's not going to disrupt anywhere else that you would normally use him, unless, with the only caveat being, if you were previously using him to solo content, right? Obviously, you're going to need regen and immortal in that situation. Uh, but uh yeah we almost didn't need a crazy to go you could argue he might be better in 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 here as well in this uh build accuracy i'm trying to 
I don't know, guys. I'm, I'm trying really hard. I'm trying really freaking hard to move away from any five-star accessories or artifacts, even if they're good and juicy like this. I'm not even rolling them up and wasting my silver because, you know what? I'm sick of being full in my storage, right? You got you to gotta do it. You got to just increase the barrier, the threshold of what you would accept, right? All right, let's go. Without further ado, let's go into... Uh, the higher team. I'll show you the team that we're going to kind of be using here, guys. We're just going to do hard. We're going to do this squad. Uh, we get a Nekmo. Uh, we have Molly for the, just the, for the provokes. We have Inquisitor Shamil. We have an Ugo for the uh, debuff and block buffs. And then a Lydia for everything that Lydia does. Okay. Based on this new information, I don't see how we can do that. I mean, it's not rocket science. 50% chance to land a hex, right? But I'll show you nonetheless for a minute. So here comes Artac right there. Dog of War. And you can see we're already starting to land our... And, and the thing is, guys, is, you know, a lot of you probably have Mithrala. A lot of you. If not, hopefully you get her soon, right? Uh, but, you know, there's not that many incredible damage dealers with a bunch of AoEs and stuff, right? That you can throw a hex set on or, or a curse set on, right? Uh, obviously, there's some out there. Don't get me wrong. But I think the Artak is just built for this damn set, you know? AoE's on every ability. He's already super, like, tanky. And, you know, I don't think there's one set. Like, a lot of a lot of uh, champions I like in Relentless, right? Uh, but even in the Relentless, man, like, it's so much... It's so much more damage if you don't have a Hexer on your team. Hex is so important. It's imperative. You should really get to the point with enough ice gold and farming that you have either a Hex lander, a Hex applier, or a Hex set on every, a curse set on every single team of your three Hydra teams. You're leaving so much damage off the table without Hex, guys. I'm still new fashioned. I'm still in demand. Hopefully I've made my point. You can see that, that that land rate is pretty dang dependable. We're filling up those debuff bars. You're seeing all that ancillary damage, you know, every hit. And over the course of what's going to be, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour long battle right now, that's going to add up so much that nothing we could throw on him otherwise is going to be able to compete. I've made my freaking point. Did I say this is going to be the shortest video ever? My damn mouth is getting in the way of a great short brief video for you guys yet again. Oh, it's okay. All right, guys. I'm going to come back at you at the, you know, in an hour or two when this run is over. Be right back. All right, guys. So an hour and four minutes later, we have the run complete, guys. It is Artac putting out an astounding 101 million damage. Overall, the squad scored 253 million damage. Again, it is on a hard difficulty but i mean the proof is in the pudding here i ran our attack in you know every build known to man from regen to savage to whatever tested him on everything and i am scoring so much more not just our attack damage but overall damage after making this swap, I had to share with you guys. Odds are, as I said in the beginning, a lot of you are probably already using this build. I waited too long. Hopefully, you guys don't do the same. Thank you so much for watching until the end of the video, guys. I love Artac, man, and I love you guys. Keep the champion guide request coming from my champion guide channel. If there's any champion that you want to see a guide on, let me know in these comments below, and I can make them happen either on this channel or on that one as well. I upload to both every day. Day. Much love and as always, take care guys.